It's me, Ellen Ann, the author of the Kitchen Linens book, and I am getting ready to leave tomorrow on my book tour. I'm going to be gone for two weeks. My first stop is Seattle, then San Francisco, Dallas, Coral Gables, Charlotte, North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina, and then Denver on May 1st. Packing for such a book tour is always a dilemma for me. I make a presentation out of a vintage piece of luggage and I wanted y'all to see what it's like to put the whole thing together, see the quandary that I'm in. All right, this is my new presentation case. I think it's a really good size. It's a tad smaller than the one I had before and it'll go really well in the overhead. And it's got some great compartments inside perfect for this. I'm going to be sharing the original Butterick pattern transfer. I'll be passing it around. I've got it in plastic. And I'm going to be showing a little child's apron. It's pictured in the Kitchen Lanning's book that was embroidered by that 1945 transfer lent to me by Marcia C. of Oklahoma City. Thanks, Marcia. Thanks, Catherine, for introducing me to Marcia, too. I'm going to be showing, oh my gosh, hot pads, a few of my favorites from my collection. Oh, this one, too. Oh, this one, too. And the most adorable, have you ever, hot pad holder mm, to die for. I'm going to be showing an apron that has an applique on the pocket also pictured in the Kitchen Linens book. And here's the great part. I found the original applique. Whoopsie! The original applique. And what do you do when you have applique on the pocket and the original applique? You make note cards. Yes! Those are some of the things I'm going to be sharing as to what in the world to do with some of the bits and pieces of your own vintage collection. I'm going to be sharing the original embroidery done by my mother-in-law, Elsa Frank, which is uh, graces the cover of the Kitchen Linens book. And I need to cover the table of my presentation area, and I chose this cloth. There's just something about those colors, the aqua and the depth of the yellow that I just know. I mean, can you not look at this thing and just smile? Well, that's the whole purpose, I think, of the cheery patterns anyway of the vintage table coverings. Let's see. Mm. I'm going to be showing y'all some just magnificent uh, embroidery of initials. I'm going to be showing a number of examples on damask napkins, cocktail napkins, you know, funny little things like that, oh, 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 and glass jackets, glass jackets, I now have my own, oh, where, 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 oh, cupcake jackets, who would have thought there was such a thing, but some industrious woman, this is what she crochet. I'm going to be sharing that too. A few surprises here and there. Toweling. Toweling that when you see it, you'll just think, oh, I wish that was mine. But that's why I'm showing it to you because it is one of a kind, I think, as far as I'm concerned. I don't know anybody else that has one at this point. Let's see. Booklets. I am going to be sharing some of my booklets and original transfers for days of the week toweling. And transfers, where in the world did they come from? My biggest dilemma, what apron to pack? Should it be this one? Should it be this one? Hmm, I'm leaning towards both, I don't know. Or, or this with the southwestern flavor because I actually found a table covering that matches. Well, my little vintage piece of luggage, it's only so big and I know I'm going to have some trouble fitting everything in here. But no matter what, 
I'm not going to have trouble greeting you with a big old smile. I so look forward to meeting so many of you at my book signings. Please go on my website, apronmemories.com, and see where I'm going to be and come to see the Kitchen Lenny's book and me in person. And together, we are going to celebrate the artistry and industry of women. Bye.